So let's take a quick look um, to uh, automated DVS extraction. There was a previous webinar on this topic, so I will just touch this briefly. So in my opinion, the, the modern clinical laboratory is always a combination of different matrices. We at Comac, we focus on two matrices, uh, the blood and urine, especially in terms of dried blood spot and dried urine spot. The reason why we do dry blood spot is that it's uh, minimum invasive. We only need a few droplets of blood, which are very easily collected. And we don't need trained staff or nurses to, to draw the blood. Then the card is dried for two hours. And afterwards we can ship it without any stabilization or without any cooling chains um, required. And this really brings the cost down for this approach and makes it feasible for large uh, sample amounts or when the sample needs to be transported over long distances. So here we developed the instrumentation, the DBS MS500. This is a instrument where you can load up to 500 of such uh, DBS cards uh, in five different racks with each 100 cards. And then there is a robotics which brings those cards to three modules first module is a camera, then an internal standard sprayer and an extraction cell. And everything is controlled with a software. And this software also controls the online connected LCMS system, which is hooked to this instrument. The instrument can be used very flexible uh, by the choice of different extraction solutions or rinsing solutions or up to four different internal standards within one process. And then the, the online coupling works with all the five major LCMS players in the market. So let's take a quick look at those modules. So there's a camera. The camera is very important because we need to know the exact location of the DBS on the filter paper, which allows us then to extract from the very middle of the dry blood spot. This really increases the robustness. And also, this is a quality issue. So, for example, the, the dry blood spots, they don't always look that nice as you can see them here in the picture. Sometimes it's a so-called, it's a little bit of smear. And the camera can detect if the, the dry blood spot is acceptable or not. And then we can automatically reject a dry blood spot and go to the next one. There's also a barcode reader for sample recognition. And this barcode and sample information is then directly transferred onto the LCMS report. Then secondly, we have a internal standard spraying unit where we can apply internal standards directly on the blood spot. And this really allows us to do quantification. It is important that the internal standard is added as early as possible into the process. And here we do it before the extraction, which really allows us to take a look at the extraction efficiency and to do quantification. Here we can spray from five to 40 microliter spray volume of our standards on the blood spot. And third, the extraction cell. Here we pump the extraction solvent active through the dry blood spot into a sample loop, which is then connected to the LCMS. The extraction cell is washed after each extraction. There is a wash station going in between this extraction cell and really rinsing the whole unit to um, avoid any carryover. So the schematic of the switching is, is quite straightforward. So here the blue line shows the extraction of a dry blood spot into this sample loop, which you can see in the middle in the 10 port valve. The left hand side with the 10 port valve represents the DBS MS500 and the right hand side represents the LCMS measurement. So by switching the 10 port valve, we now have the loop volume integrated into our LCMS cycle and is directly transferred on the analytical column and afterwards into the triple quadrupole instrument. At the very same time, we activate the rinsing pump, which flushes the outlet of the extraction cell backwards to really prevent carryover. So this is the easiest setup. We also have uh, methods where we use uh, trapping columns or online SP. Here we replace the loop with a uh, online SP. 
and we trap the analytes and then backwash them with the third pump onto the analytical column. Depending on the application, we have both setups. So this really enables us to have uh, two minutes per sample, uh, uh, very efficient and active extraction, where we always have fresh solvent going through the dry blood spot, and we end up with approximately 20 microliter of extract, which is then guided to the LCM system. At the very same time, we have the, uh, the sample recognition through the barcode, and with quality assurance through the software taking pictures before and after the extraction. So this is all uh, documented and really follows the GLP, Good Laboratory Practice Guidelines. So as said before, newborn screening is the first market over 50 years now. And lately with the increase of the sensitivity of LCMS instruments, we were able to place this technology in other markets, such as forensic toxicology. There was a previous webinar on forensic toxicology, then on the wellness testing, preclinical and clinical trials, and very importantly, therapeutic drug monitoring, which I will speak today about. So, Therapeutic drug monitoring, also generally DBS makes sense where large sample amounts are analyzed or where samples are shipped over long distances. Specific markers, uh, markets for this is uh, the mass drug administration studies. So when you give a drug to a very large population of, of people, you're confronted with a large set of, of samples which need to be measured and transported maybe uh, in an automated fashion. Another trend is at home sampling. So all the, the drugs which need to be taken over long um, time frames, such as uh, immunosuppressants, epilepsy or, or HIV drugs, they need to be adjusted very closely uh, according to personalized um, metabolic uh, procedures. So nowadays the people need to go to the hospital several times to give their blood, which is taken by a nurse through needle from the vein. Then um, the whole blood uh, preparation is done in the laboratory and they adjust the, uh, the levels. We um, recommend from several publications new approaches that those people could get the DBS sampling kit at home. They take the sample themselves, they let it dry, they ship it to a centralized laboratory, and then the doctor will get the results to be able to adjust the dosage. So this really comes with the ease for the patient and also brings the, the hospital costs down. And third, the therapeutic drug monitoring for babies or small children. So in babies, you cannot draw a lot of blood to do those tests. And here dry blood spot also represents a very nice uh, technique to do this kind of monitoring in babies. For example, certain babies need to be treated with uh, antibiotics in, in very young age. And it's also here very important, especially for the antibiotics which, which go on the kidney, to really monitor this and, and adjust the dosage very closely. So to summarize the, the advantages in the field of therapeutic drug monitoring is really at home sampling, easy training, how you get the sample, easy logistics, the sample is stabilized, as we see in, in the examples I will show you later on. And the technology is really minimum invasive. The fields we developed so far are antiretroviral drugs for HIV, then epilepsy drugs, ivermectin, which is an example for mass drug uh, administration. And then there is a lot of literature on immunosuppressants and, and other markets. And the, the customers investing for an automated equipment or mostly larger hospitals or contractors. <laughs>